Hello guys, welcome to The Outspoken. I am Jidin Joy and I am Akash Mohan. Today, we are going to talk about the psychological aspect behind the killer game, Blue Whale. As we all know, the term Blue Whale has gone beyond a giant fish and is haunting many parents these days, raising their concern for their children. Even the government is taking actions in order to protect their youngsters. So what is the killer game all about? For this, you might have got many explanations through social media, through television, and some of you might have the 50 list of challenges with you and some of you might have even tried to get into this game because of curiosity but we are not going to speak about all these things what are the challenges and how it is done but rather we would like to analyze what is the root cause and the psychological aspect behind this game through this video we will make you understand the underlying factors that make people vulnerable towards playing this game we heard many people saying that you should not even try this game but we will not say that because if people would have valued their words I think many people would have not committed suicide because in many of the cases in which uh, the people committed suicide their parents, their friends came to know that they are going to commit suicide but even after getting proper advices from their parents and friends they committed suicide so the people who are curious they will play this game even now there may be people who, who are playing this game so I think that there is no use in saying this word but we want you to see life in a more realistic way why people get trapped into this kind of things what are the psychological problems within them that makes them vulnerable towards these things I think if you get an understanding about this I we hope that you will not get into this kind of traps so before getting into this topic we would like to ask you a few questions in order to make you think Question number one is it the game Blue Whale the problem or the people using it? Number two, is banning the, pro banning the game really a solution to the problem? Number three, why do people become vulnerable? And the last question, is there really a solution to this problem? Okay, so think about it. Now you may be curious to know what are the psychological factors that has been used by the creator of this game in order to influence people. The creator of the game has used many psychological factors in order to influence people. This kind of game is targeted towards psychologically weaker people. And the creator of the game uses persuasion as a technique to lead the vulnerable people to commit suicide. So through persuasion, the creator of the game destroys the fear in the person from level 1 till the point of death. The next psychological factor is sleeper's effect. There is a sleeper's effect is a psychological phenomena which is related to persuasion. That is, when a person is given a strong persuasive message for a long period of time, the person gets influenced. Even if even the person is not willing to change, the person changes. Here in the game, in the game Blue the 50 days of time is a long time in which the person gets a strong persuasive message for a long period of time. So what happens is that even the person is uh, afraid to commit suicide or even he is not willing to commit suicide but because of this strong persuasive message the person commits suicide so even even uh, in the in the last stage he will be happy in committing suicide or he will be comfortable with that uh, situation the next psychological factor is reinforcement reinforcement is uh, in psychology something that which strengthen the occurrence of a behavior that is when uh, when we does something and we are getting appreciation from other it is a kind of reinforcement the reinforcement can be uh, can be as a gift or it can be as a appreciation so what happens here is that the people uh, who does these challenges they get appreciation some kind of appreciation from others so what they does is that they repeat that behavior and they are uh, they does even the difficult task because of this reinforcement the next psychological factor is conformity Conformity is a kind of social influence that is in order to get fit into a particular group the people change their beliefs and attitudes so here what happens is that at a particular uh, at a particular level the person gets in contact with people who have who plays this game so what happens is that in order to even the person is not willing to make the cut on his hand or he is afraid to make the cut on his hand because of conformity that is in order to get fit into that group the person does this act so in this way conformity works out here so 
now you you have heard what are the psychological factors that has been used by the creator of this game in order to influence people now let's see what are the psychological factors that makes the person vulnerable towards this game so let's see what are those psychological factors so the first psychological factor is identical issue according to the indian tradition we used to live together as a joint family where moral values were imparted to the younger generation but in the present scenario uh, due to the change of the family system from the joint to the nuclear uh, there has been a drastic change in one's own identity in the present system people are rushing towards money and they fail to pay attention towards uh, their children and the people around them so uh, the, the children get uh, uh, get affected in their social life so they are, they uh, they fail to understand about themselves and they cannot uh, uh, make their own decision about how their action will be in, uh, around them the second psychological factor is low self esteem people with low self esteem believe that there is something wrong within themselves so in order to prove that they engage in these kind of activities the third psychological factor is attention seeking there are people who always crave for the attention and they try to do something different to project themselves so these kinds of people are vulnerable to the uh, games like uh, blue whale and the traps that with it the fourth psychological factor is personality factors there are certain personality traits that are highly vulnerable to the games like blue whale so neurotism is a certain personality trait which is highly vulnerable due to its emotional instability the fifth and the last psychological factor is lack of acceptance younger generation need acceptance from others so they go after anything that accepts them so blue whale is a game that accepts people who need acceptance so we heard what are the psychological factors that has been used by the creator of this game in order to influence people and also what are the psychological factors that makes a person vulnerable towards this kind of games stay tuned for our next video in which we will be coming with some of the solution for the people who gets involved into this kind of activities please subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the like button thank you